Each day, Sir Topham Hatt came by in Winston, his inspection car, to see how the world Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> and who are you? I'm... James. Hey Henry, I got a question. Um, yeah, what's that? What would you do if you woke up and there was a dead body lying on the tracks in front of you? Well, not exactly in front of you, but still in front of you. But you don't realise that it was there, so you move forward and you hear a squishing sound. So you back up and realise you ran over someone and you start to freak. But then you stop to think, where's this body come from? And who could have done it? Because you know deep down in your heart that you could have possibly done it. So you think back to last time where you were sitting at a bar. And there's this dude staring at you, so you try to ignore him, but he won't stop staring, so I ask him, Hey, why are you looking at me? And he replies, Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was staring at you, or oh, you see, I'm lying. So you punch him seven times in the face and make a dash to the door, but as soon as you walk out of the door, you suddenly feel like going skydiving. So you hijack someone's personal plane, just as they were about to take off, and jump off once if you think you are high enough, but then you realise that you forgot your parachute. So you fall and crash to the ground, but luckily you had your water bucket on you, and you was able to place it down in time. But then you realise that the water bucket was actually the owner of the plane that you hijacked, and the plane had crashed into the children's hospital. Not to mention the fact that you landed in the middle of some kid's birthday party. So you pull out your AK-47 and shoot everyone, and you bring the body back as a little souvenir to your shed, but then you get hungry and decided to eat it and go to bed. Now that I'm thinking about it, that body I ran over this morning kind of looks like the old Janet that sweeps the shed's floor every morning. Yeah, she died of old age, and that story I told has nothing to do with my question. Anyways, what would you do if you found a dead body? I'm calling the police. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Chicken. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go.
My god, what a wonderful day! Well, hello, James. I see you have found my Tower of James. Why does it look like a massive penis with my face on it? And why is it named after me? Who cares? Anyways, if you want to enter, you will have to pay me. Pay you? Pay you with what? You know what? Fuck you. I'm leaving. Good. I didn't want you here anyways. What would you do if you woke up and there was a dead body lying on the tracks in front of you? Oh well, not exactly in front of you, but still in front of you. But you don't realize that it was there, so you move forward and you hear it's pushing you. So you back up and realize you're out of it. What's that sound? Oh, it's Gordon. Wait, Gordon, what are you doing? Gordon, wait, don't! Hey, what the fuck is going on here? James. Oh, hi, Gordon. What the fuck? 